I have no clue what I'm doing, Tyler. I think you're ready. <laughs> Sometimes you catch your teeth on fire. No fire. So a few weeks ago, I promised you guys I was going to attempt this insanely gorgeous alligator carved table thing. And now we're here. Before I dive into anything though, I do have a few apprehensions. First and foremost, I don't know how to chainsaw carve, period. I do know how to power carve though, so I do think I can still tackle this. Two, chainsaw carvers tend to use wet materials or like not kiln dry stuff and they're mostly making displays, sculptures, so when things shrink and crack, it's not a huge deal. But I make furniture, and I don't want any of that to happen, so I've gotta figure out how to make that mess not exist with this piece. Three, I do know how to power carve, like I said, but I don't know if my skill sets are anywhere close to being able to do something as intricate and detailed. To establish my plan, I actually dove deep back into the creator of this TikTok's Instagram page. He goes by The Dow, not to be confused with the legendary the do. And I think I watched every single video on this dude's page. I even reached out to him. We had an incredible conversation. After fostering what might be my most blossoming friendship to go forth here in 2023, I had to study what this guy was about. Because like you guys, I don't actually know everything. And I, sometimes you just got to learn. So I found it super interesting. He takes stuff straight off of the mill, cuts parts off, and then has this like really cool router jig that goes around and roughly cuts the shape. This doesn't solve the problem we talked about earlier though with the wood being wet and potentially shrinking, exploding, and not being usable as a piece of furniture. So I continued to go down the rabbit hole on his page and I found this. And this is one of his gator sculptures on a slab of walnut with a white wood used for the sculpture. But the kicker, he used a lamination as it says here in the description, and I think this is gonna be the best route for me to try and mimic it. So first things first, I gotta get a slab, and I gotta get a slab flat. Ooh, we could just use this piece of shit for my house. I could take that and repurpose it, and it is coffee table size, which I'm definitely gonna test coffee table because if I screw the sucker up, I don't wanna have to deal with all the oh, issues of wasting a massive slab of walnut. So, CNC. We're gonna flatten the sucker on the CNC. It has a huge cup here. Typically, I would uh, do the cup up because then I get two points of contact on the bed. This has such an extreme live edge on it that I can't keep the slab itself from like jostling around. So I'm gonna try it this way and um, see if we can hold this sucker down. We'll take more material off here in that side, and then I uh, will be able to flip it and hopefully it holds itself up. If you're doing this, you can do this by hand, or if you wanna flatten a slab, I mean, it's not that hard. Also, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, I'll flatten it for you. Just email the uh, email down below. We've got this slab slayer bit by RIP Industries. Um, we've been using this thing for a couple weeks now. It's, it's amazing. No affiliation, not paying me. If you're in the market and you wanna do slabs and epoxy flattening, this thing's sick. Especially for epoxy. Yeah, epoxy is, whew. So much better. This is off the countertop of my bar. If you haven't seen that video, you're missing out, because it's awesome. Now, cut this sucker down, then we'll start laying out what I think will be the object I'm gonna carve. Don't know if I'm gonna do a gator. It seems pretty damn hard. We're starting small. Relax. The alligator has a ton of scales and a lot of time-consuming small details that I think I wanna build up to with my skill set. So to start, I think I wanna do a shark. It's gonna have a little bit smoother and I also think it'll look pretty rad. We'll be able to get some features here and we gotta do a lamination. So my thought is not just any shark, not a great white, but a megalodon, obviously. And I think for this, if we could do something like where like you have the, the tail fin coming out in this area, right? And that would stick up and then we do something up here. That would be like the back of the shark with its dorsal fin, and then the head would sit pretty much up here, somewhere around there, and be like breaching out of the water. I can then carve the head and then have the back, and like the head would be kind of tilted up here. So I'm gonna use this to cut some blocks and glue some stuff up so we can laminate it down and then get to carving this sucker. I, I, that's my best guess on how to go next, so. Join me. So I've got a couple chunks of basswood here. Basswood carves really nice, so we're gonna try it. All I'm gonna do is glue up a couple blocks and just kinda lay them on there, see how it goes. I apologize, this might get tricky to film. So what I'm trying to do here, <laughs> like I've never done this before, so I, I truly don't know what I'm doing. But if the shark head 
could have some shape like this and then come down and then its mouth will come back inside to the wood. So we want the mouth to be in the wood. If only we had like a 3D model of a shark. I guess I don't have to be perfect here quite yet. Can I get something like that to start about there? I'm gonna cut this like right here. That should give me plenty and then I can use this for the next part. Way more talented people than me out there doing this crap. I want the back to like kind of crest and then into the fin and the fin coming back into the water. So give me some fin. The hard part's gonna be making all this proportional, right? Think that's enough fin, Tyler? I'd say so. Looks like a good fin. Good. Because this one is just gonna be, the top of it is just gonna be this like this fin popping out. And then the head of the shark because the head's like kind of square. Or is it pointed? Ah, they're definitely pointed. So something like that. So if you look at it from this way, it's kind of cool. I see the vision. Uh, do you see the vision? I guess we just send it. You know, if it's this close to the surface, there would totally be ripples in the water, right? Look how complicated this is. And I'm doing like the most basic shapes. Like this is going to get complex, but these are pretty basic. And this dude is doing an alligator with every scale. Just incredibly talented dude. So this is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard, but I'm going to glue these blocks up individually. I'll let those sit and then we'll get those glued onto the slab before we start carving. Ooh, you know what? I just caught this. If we look here, there's this seam in the wood. It would be awesome if the body, if he was kind of going with it. Okay, I like it, Picasso. That's a lot of glue. Like the point of using like the L or the angle was to like get some flex out of it, but it doesn't seem to be mattering. Thank you. It's actually a pretty smart idea. If you can't bring the middle down, bring the part inside up. Um, it's squirrely, but it should work. Long grain on long grain, so in theory, the glue joint should be stronger. So this is our Megalodon. His mouth opens and closes. That Megalodon came with this, which is gonna be how we're gonna lay out the drawing for my table here. Whenever we were like, we should get a model so I can like model off of the model, and that's our guy. What are we naming this dude? I think he looks like a stew to me. Stew. Very sophisticated gentleman. Flavor saver. Nice. I think this is like an attestment to how good that dude is that did this. I don't know what we're doing. This is gonna be way more difficult than I thought. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna get this to look the way that it is. There's so many damn shapes and stuff that are going into it. I'm baffled. Let's go test the back fin. Start there, back fin test. Can we all agree? Yes. Let's go. So it's, it's super nice out, so we're gonna carve out here so I can Get some sawdust not in my shop. But I do gotta put on my space suit so I can't talk to you guys for a minute. I'm gonna get started on this. I gotta figure out a way to like remove the bulk of the material and see if I can shape that at all. So let's rip. That part's gonna be a lot harder to get into than I thought initially. But the glue up's good and solid. So we got that going. I don't know what the Dow uses for his stuff, but we're gonna try carving a little bit more of the details over here with this. This is a burr on a die grinder. And I really like these because they let you get into some of the more difficult parts as well as they allow you to sort of refine the shapes a lot better. I think the rest of it I can shape. I mean, the way it's going into the water, I think is super solid. This thing's gonna be sick. I am so friggin' amped. Brilliant idea, Dow. Brilliant. All right, Mob, we are back outside. It's the morning. It is bright as hell, so we threw a tent up. What I'm working on right now is this section here, like in this area here. That's all that we're trying to get done is just this part. Shouldn't be insanely difficult. Fingers crossed I say that now, but we'll see what it looks like once I get into it. Now all there is to do is to shut up and work. Let's go. So we got a, a bunch of material hogged out here. I'm, I'm actually gonna flip it and kind of work from the other side. And because I'm right-handed and I can't work across the table, I'm super concerned though on how I'm gonna get like a nice little like round back part to come up with it. 
I'm gonna address, I'm gonna tackle something I am kind of come more confident in with like to just getting this rough shape of the fin out and then I'll come back to that part. You like it? What do you think, Stu? Agreed. Blah, 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 blah. The transition line into the wood, kind of like back in this part, I think is is really important to show that it's like under the wood coming out. Do you guys see this? It's a little hook right here. Now I'm gonna try that. Why not? So Cutsaw makes this little rasp, and I think if I just do this a million times, it might get us there. John, is this as fun as you thought it would be? I'm yeah. pretty pumped. It's a good change of pace. I really do like power carving. You're like bringing something to life that typically wouldn't exist. So this is pretty cool. It's a Dremel with an extension on it. So I can just use this little tool and get in there for some details. It's looking cool. What do you think? It's awesome. Now it's just time for the hardest part. Wouldn't that be cannibalism? Sharks definitely eat other sharks. But now what we're getting into is the shape of the head here. My intention initially was to have like the mouth showing on, uh, you can see it over here somewhere. I'm gonna start from the top down and see what that looks like proportionally because I may have screwed up on like how much is coming in and out of the water. And I may only need to be, be able to do like the head popping out of the water instead of the mouth. I'm gonna try to do the mouth though. I think that would be super, super rad. Ron Swanson, please. Give me the gumption in order to conquer this ridiculous task at hand. As sawdust will be spewed, souls could potentially be crushed, and my ego could be destroyed. I don't know if any of that's good or bad, but bacon. And it actually indents a little bit at the nose. To get that indent, it's gonna be here in this, this part. It like narrows as it comes down. And that comes up to here. I'm just gonna go slow. If I go slow, I should be good. Well, at least better. But I wanna go fast! I wanna go fast! So everything overheated and we had to take a break. So I readjusted the table so I could get a little bit of a better leverage on it. I'm super duper concerned with the nose and I'm gonna kind of work my way down here with this burr. I think it should give me the ability to kind of get the shaping that I want. I don't know. We're getting to like the part that I have very minimal confidence in, uh, but at the end of the day, it's just wood and I am capable of it. So I'm not gonna let it kick my ass. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna punch it straight in the face. I have no clue what I'm doing, Tyler. I think you're ready. <laughs> yes. This is very, very hard. Ah, with these freaking teeth. I was able to get that break down there to show some of the walnut, which is pretty rad. So I'm gonna come back in now that I have a little more space with this bit. And this should allow me to get an undercut down here and then establish a little an area for the teeth. Yep, no freaking clue what I'm doing, Tyler, but we're doing it. I think it's looking pretty rad. We're making headway. I am pretty proud of what we've got here so far. It's looking pretty good. We got a little bit of an undercut here, and I'm just gonna come in, I'm gonna try to make some teeth. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get as detailed as like <laughs> Stu is. I don't know if I don't have the tools. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know where I'm at right now. But all that being said, I think this slightly resembles a shark, and 
That would probably lead to what I would like to say is an impromptu baby shark dance party with my daughter. Okay. Let's carve. I could do much better than that on the teeth. These top ones are gonna be tough. I did give myself a little bit of a lift there. So we've moved back inside so I can get some better leverage being able to move my table here. And I'm gonna try and tackle these teeth. I'm looking pretty rad on this bottom row. I was able to get two rows in there because sharks have like well, however many rows of teeth. The top one I was able to get a back cut in there but I'm really, really concerned with being able to actually make these teeth look like teeth. And if you look at Stu's mouth, it goes back inside and that's kind of the look I was trying to go for but boy is that shit hard. Those look like teeth. I'll try to establish this lip a little bit better. I don't know what freaking tool I'm gonna use for that. I got a little gum line. I kind of like it. It's got some snakeish vibes going on right now, which I don't love. I'm gonna hit it with like, I'm gonna just try to remove a bunch of material with the sander, see if I like it from there. I don't wanna go like crazy with material removal with like one of the cuts all discs because I feel like I'm getting to that point where like a mistake could be detrimental. And I'm a little bit scared. Let's see how this goes. Flattening that eyeball out looks less snaky. Because if you look here, his eye is like, it's like a flat spot that like runs back. So I'm trying to emulate that and you can't really see it in there, it's shadow, but I'm trying to create that flat spot again because his eye is actually like back here. I need to just smooth that down, I think. I don't know, Tyler. It's like it's sick. Make shit up, you think? <laughs> It's looking sick. That was what it needed. It so much more shark-like. A lot more sharky, right? Yeah. You like the teeth? Oh yeah. Oh, you got two rows. Damn, Picasso over here. <laughs> yeah. This is looking so much closer to a shark. I think it gives me the confidence now to start working on a couple more details, like eyeballs. Are you just gonna leave them one color? Or are you thinking of doing like... I don't know, I was thinking about like leaving it two-tone. You know, you gotta get a little nostril. I think it just needs that little the front part. Yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. Like, if you watch um, BM sculptures, Blake has like an eye cutter, right? And it'll just cut the shape of the eye into the thing. I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go around the outside here, okay? And then fade it out slightly, and I should be able to come in and get some depth there. So like, we don't have a good example here, but the eye is actually bulging and we don't have the ability to do that. So I'm gonna try to like, almost back cut it I think, and then I'll go back in and, and try to like, round it over a little bit. We'll see. Looks like an eyeball. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Now let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> Oh, 
carve a pocket like around here, right? So it looks more like that. Also, looks like the nostrils are down further and his nose, like, but this guy's nose is pointy and his nostrils are down here. You're telling me all sharks aren't shaped the same? Damn it. How pointy that guy is. Who would have thought? This is so hard. It's all artistic representation though. Yeah, I guess so. Is that gonna bother the crap out of me? That doesn't look right. These guys are like right here. <laughs> they all look different, so like I think it's. <sighs> they do. All right. <laughs> Let's carve a puddle. Hi. I think I'm gonna try a few things here with the torch. First, I was also wondering if it like makes sense to like darken some of this. That's why this torch is All right, let's see what that looks like. I like that part. This part? Yeah, I gotta fix this other this part. This is cool. That. It literally is like <laughs> smoldered into his face. He's <laughs> some more balls. I guess when you're trying new shit, sometimes you catch your teeth on fire. fire. Watch, watch your life. It's not my best, but it doesn't suck, right? And it's gonna pop when we get finished on it. And now my friends, let us spray. God. I gotta say this thing, it looks, it looks pretty awesome after we got some finish on it. The wood itself had some really cool rays over here, uh, which ended up playing really well into it. I think the carving of the water makes the piece for me. In person, you can really see some depth. It's really, really a cool effect on here. I think the scale of the shark was a little off. That's on my end, as well as we had some issues like catching the teeth on fire here. Um, but with more practice and more preparation, I think I can get better at stuff like this moving forward. And I mentioned earlier in the video that I watched all of the Dow's videos. I might have elaborated on the truth there a little bit. I watched a ton of it, and I somehow missed this epic video right here. Where the dude literally builds the most incredible shark table in the history of the world. I wanna know if you guys think I should try tackling this again using that for guidance, because that thing is insane. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to see me build some more epic stuff, I got a whole playlist right here.